Today we're taking a look at some ice cream. Specifically, the Neapolitan ice cream switch. Full disclosure, I did receive these switches uh, from Canon Keys for review. I did not get paid for this review. Uh, they don't get to see this review before it goes live and all of my thoughts are completely my own. However, thanks Canon Keys. Uh, Anna and Upas, you guys are the best. I'm a small creator and I really, really appreciate not having to pay for switches to review because uh, my wife is unhappy, so she's a lot happier now. <laughs> also, there is an affiliate link in the description below. If you decide to pick these up or anything else from Canon Keys, I'd really appreciate it if you could use it to help out the channel grow. The Neapolitan is a tactile switch that is manufactured by Texi for Canon Keys. It comes with a full polycarbonate housing, a palm stem, and a 63.5 gram two-stage or symmetric spring. The Neapolitan does come factory lube, but in my inspection, the lube is a pretty light oil. Uh, seems to be pretty common with Texi switches. And it seems like only the, the tactile le leaf is lubed. I don't see much lube, if any, on the sliders or the rails. Oh, there is a little bit on the sliders, but it's very, very light. The bottom housing is a custom mold that is designed to mimic the feel of a Zyko switch. If you haven't heard of Zykos before, they are one of the most tactile switches that you can currently make right now. It is a Franken switch, and it's made using the top housing from an Invir Panda, the stem from a Halo True or Clear, traditionally a 78 gram spring, but right here I'm using a tri-stage 63.5 gram spring, and the bottom housing from a Zelios V2. If you know anything about any of these switches, I'm pretty sure you're already doing the math, but Zyko's work out to be roughly $2 per switch. Oh my lanta! On the other hand, you can buy the Zykos on the Canon Keys website and they cost $77 for 110 switches, which works out to 70 cents a switch. Because the Neapolitan is marketed as a one switch Zykos replacement, how do they feel compared to Zykos? In my opinion, a Zykos is really similar to the feeling of a light switch. You have no pre-travel, a tactile bump that ultimately ends in bottom out. You have no pre or post travel that leads to basically this on off feeling and the halo stem, essentially a holy panda top, makes the tactility feel very rounded. It's just round until bottom out. So a force curve diagram for a Zykos I'd imagine would look something like this. Now on the other hand, the Zykos similarly has no pre-travel, but after the tactile event, there is a slight bit of post-travel. Looking at the force curve diagram on the Canon Keys website, there is roughly one millimeter, slightly less than one millimeter of post-travel. So although these are marketed and designed to be Similar in feel to a Zykos, the one big difference that I see is a Zykos has no post-travel, whereas the Neapolitan does have some post-travel. Overall, I think that the Neapolitan is a great switch in its own right. I don't like comparing them to the Zykos only because they, they don't really feel the same because of the post-travel of the Neapolitans. However, they are a great switch on their own. The stock Neapolitan in my opinion, has a pretty good sound, although it is a little rubby. When you look at a lubed and film Neapolitan, a lot of that kind of scratchy rubbing sound is gone. And it has a very pleasant sound. In my opinion, not unlike a Holy Panda. This is a Polya Panda or a Poly Panda, and so it is gonna sound a little scratchier than an OG Holy Panda. Here's the sound of a of a OG Holy Panda with a Halo Clear stem and an Invir Panda housing. And here's the sound of a lubed and film Texi Neapolitan. So to my ear, they have a very similar sound signature. Although the Neapolitan is slightly uh, crisper in its sound, probably because of the translucent bottom housing, makes a slightly brighter tone. Now let's go to the sound tests.
So at the end of the day, how do I like these switches? I like them a lot. Uh, and you can hear in the sound tests uh, when compared to the lubed and filmed Anubis and U4Ts, I think they all have uh, their strengths and weaknesses. And I don't want to go too much into the other switches. If you want you know, to hear my thoughts on those switches, you can uh, see my review. I'll link it up above. At the end of the day, it's really interesting because the Neapolitan, in my mind, is not a Zykos killer. It is, however, a one switch Holy Panda alternative to me because when I compare the Holy Panda to the Zykos, Neapolitan. whether it's in terms of push feel, pretty much everything, they are pretty similar to me. I'd say the Holy Panda has slightly more rounded tactility and the Zykos has slightly more uh, post travel, but in terms of sound and acoustics, I actually prefer the Neapolitan because it's slightly lower pitched than a Holy Panda. Holy Panda? Zykos. Neapolitan. Excuse me. Neapolitan. But they, they do sound very similar. And so for 70 cents, these are a Holy Panda alternative. And I think the Neapolitans are a great switch in their own right. They are slightly more expensive. I'm guessing that's partly due to the custom bottom molds that they have to order from Texi. But at the end of the day, they offer a lot of the tactility of a Zykos for a fourth of the price. So in that sense, I'd say they've accomplished their goal. Would I buy these for 70 cents a switch? Probably not because uh, if you've watched my Anubis review, I think the Anubis is probably the best tactile that I own and I've used, and I've used a lot of them. Uh, so, you know, that's that's my preference. Uh, why do I like the Anubis? I think the Anubis is closer to a Zykos in feel, especially if you swap a heavier spring into it. I like how the Anubis looks more than the Neapolitan. I'm just not a huge fan of the color, especially the brown stem. It's a little, you know, I, I get it, right? It's like vanilla, chocolate, and strawberry. But at the end of the day, I think the Neapolitan is a good switch. It's just maybe slightly overpriced, especially when you compare it to some of the other switches that Canon Keys also sells. Uh, if you're not in America, Swag Keys also sells the Neapolitans. Uh, I, I, haven't, I didn't see them anywhere else, but uh, I think overall these are a great switch. They're well manufactured and they feel good. Pretty much the only reason why I wouldn't recommend them is because I personally prefer the Anubis switches. Yep, that's it. I'm MakerMods and I'll catch you in the next video.